Carbonaro effect. Hey there, Michael Carbonaro here. Thank you for watching tonight's episode of The Carbonaro Effect. We are in the after effect, where I'm gonna answer your questions. Thank you for writing them in. We're gonna kick it right off with Cindy, who asks, was it fun for you to try new locations like a diner or the subway from the last episode? Yes, very much so. We're always looking for new ways to explore um, magic and public areas that might be a little bit different than we've done before. So the diner was one of those ones where I, I wanted to maybe not engage with the people as much as possible. I wanted to kind of just, just be there on my own eating and have limited interaction and just sort of get those voyeuristic looks, which I think we, we did really well. So that was super fun to do that one. Zach asks, how did that pickle burger taste? There was a lot of pickles. Oh, uh, that's, that? that's a whole lot of pickles. I know, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't have a sense of taste because I have a double tongue skin syndrome. So the skin on my tongue is not real. So I have no idea how it tastes. That's how I was able to eat that pickle burger. I should have tasted it before I decided that it didn't need, you know, what the chef says that it needs. So I had to. Anna, that moving steak trick was hilarious. Were you worried that the guy would leave the diner because he was so freaked out? Holy Oh my God. Absolutely, that's a great question. That, I mean, always bringing people on some sort of edge of you know, them wanting to stay and wanting to leave. So when I, when I start to see somebody leaving the area, because we don't have cameras set up all over the whole world, do we? Um, so you, I gotta keep him in that space. So yeah, I was scared, I'm glad he stayed and became vegan. Are you serious? You didn't hear the scream? I thought somebody fell. No, that was the cook. Dude. Dude. Ran off on him. I'm serious. I'm going vegan, how about you, man? Yeah, after that. <laughs> Sid says, you got some great reactions in this episode, especially the mushroom guy. Do you think that people in Chicago were different than they were in Atlanta? Well, apparently you did not tune in to last week when we've already answered that question. Belle writes the first question. She says, are you shooting all the new episodes in Chicago? Uh, how is it different from Atlanta? Just a little more tough. I found it a little hard to grab attention and a little hard to keep attention to. Welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining and becoming a fan. Um, no, uh, yeah, they were a little different, a little tougher, I would say, but let's talk about that mushroom guy, which is in your question here. He was the best. Yeah, dude, they were coming out of your glasses. Then you turned around and they were all coming out of your jacket. I was like, what the f Yeah. I felt like I was having a weird LSD trip, to be honest with you, oh dude. It was nuts. Gosh. Little known fact, we, we'd been planning that one for a couple of seasons, you know, that I'd been thinking through it and we kind of were getting it ready and we never found where it made sense until we decided to do the nature trail. So it was so happy to finally put that one to bed, as we said, and in the best possible way it could go. Uh, Love that one. It was almost scary, like I thought you were gonna turn into a giant mushroom. All right, that is it. That's the end of tonight's episode. Thank you again for watching and writing in. Um, you can write more questions at hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro. You can do that on Twitter or Facebook or send smoke signals. I'll see you next week, bye. Carbonaro effect.